Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to be doing a real quick video. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, I've been busy with holidays and whatnot, but I'm going to be um, making some roofing, different types of roofing. Uh, I saw something in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, and they were talking about different uh, roofing materials and how to make some different types. So I thought I'd just do a couple uh, that I had thought about and came up with and uh, just wanted to share it with you. One of them is uh, the ceramic, or I'm sorry, the terracotta Spanish roofing that looked like half pipes that are on there. Anyway, what, it, what I was thinking of is using straws. Depending on the uh, scale that you're using, different lengths of straws could be used and, and whatnot. Um, I looked up on a couple of different websites and they roofing tiles vary from you know manufacturer to manufacturer and uh, one of them was eight inches by 16 inches which would be uh, I don't know would be about a foot and a half by you know it'd be about a, an inch a little over an inch well if we're doing 12 scale 16 inches would be that long which is an inch and a half roughly inch and a third actually but um, an eight inches would be um, about that long that's how wide it would need to be but this one here would only be about three inches in diameter by well however long I want to make it so I'm I'm gonna make it I'm gonna use this one just to show you uh, the the idea you can find bigger uh, straws I don't know where we got this straw from um, here in Oklahoma we have a restaurant called Brahms it has some pretty big round straws um, they're pink but they're pretty pretty long and pretty th or pretty uh, wide and pretty thick uh, for their shakes that they make. Really good shakes, by the way. Uh, so anyway, I don't remember, like I said, where I got this one from. Um, you could also use real small uh, small straws, too. This one's only, oh, not even a quarter of an inch. And this one's, like I said, it is it is a little over a quarter of an inch. But um, anyway, the idea that I came up with was taking a pair of scissors and cut it the length that you want it. I'm just going to say we want it to be that long. And then what you do is you take a razor blade knife and be very careful, of course, and you cut it in half. Just like that. Try not to bend it when you do it. And there's your roofing tile, basically. Uh, you could also cut these in half first with the scissors. And then cut it to however long you want it to be. And that would give you a half round pipe, basically, that you would go ahead and paint for your roofing tiles. So you would stack those next to each other that way. And this one would go next to it. And there's your roofing tiles. And then of course, just paint it whatever color uh, you want to paint it. Um, I have found though that with plastic, um, acrylic paints don't paint very well on them. I did a few earlier, uh, where did I put them? Got one here. See, but you can kind of see through it, so you'll have to do many layers. Another thing you can do, which I did to this one here, is I have this little piece of cork that I stuck a needle in, and I took hairspray, and just, this is just Aquanet hairspray. I took it outside because I don't like the smell of hairspray personally, and the paint tends to stick better when it's painted, or when it's uh, sprayed with hairspray, 
with me. Grab a brush. I'm gonna show you. See, it, st it tends to stick better when you spray it with uh, hairspray versus, say, this one here that doesn't have the hairspray on it. Well, it's about the same, but you'll find that it won't peel on there. And, of course, you could also paint it first, and it depends on how thick your paint is, too. But uh, if you have trouble with the paint sticking, you can always use, like I say, the hairspray works really well. And you just paint that on. This is just brown paint, obviously. Another thing that I did, too, is another idea for roofing that I had was using cardboard. Where'd my pieces go? I had them just here. took a cardboard and uh, just peeled off one side of it and then painted it. Um, you can paint this brown. Now with, with painting on paper of course it's going to warp the it's going to it's going to warp it this way it's going to have a tendency to go you can kind of see how it's already curving um, and to alleviate that you can wet the other side of it if you take a spray bottle which i had another piece of cardboard and just spray this side here and get it wet first and then then paint this side and being wet on both sides they it won't warp as much Of course, I've already painted this, and here I used some copper paint. You can really see the warping on that pretty well. Yeah, you can see that there. But uh, I've used copper paint on this one, and then I tried some to patina it with some patina paint that I've got, but uh, it didn't work out that well. So anyway, that's an idea that I had for uh, corrugated roofing material, like for an old shed or something like that you might use. So anyway, um, just thought I'd share those real quick with you and see what you think of them. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of a, a week, week, week this year, this 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 time around. Um, but uh, I am getting ready for the holidays and didn't really have much time um, to come up with any other projects for the moment. So anyway, um, hope this was a, some help to you, and um, I'll probably be back. Uh, next week with uh, something else that I've got in mind. So anyway, as always, have a better day, as I always say.